Now we're going to paint a bullhead catfish, in this case a brown bullhead. Just wiping the fish. Uh, this is just off white. Cover over any bad spots. The mold come together. Um, places on the fins. You know, the very ends, uh, you need to set up the fiberglass color. And it's good to go ahead and ride it out. It's not a bad idea to go ahead and paint the barbels. Oh, by the way, the barbels I just made with wire and drilled them into the body a little bit and glued them and build them up with a little bit of caulk. Or you can use epoxy sculpt. Turn the fish out you got it and make sure you get him real good. I went ahead and still got my white. Places where I've sanded down, you know, where the molds came together to make the reproduction. Well, I got the areas on the back real easy. So I went ahead and turned it upside down to get the belly area as well. And you hit the barbels from a different area, at a different angle as well. So you get those. Oh, good, good and white. Right in here is definitely where I see a lot of pearl. Because that's one of the things you do see is a little bit of a pearly yellow color. That's one of the first things you notice. Okay, now I've got white pearl. I'm going to go right along the mid part of the body. Oh, yeah, look how pearly he is. He wants the belly. Turn the fish however you got to get him. Uh, make sure you get him completely good and pearled out. Go ahead and clean the eyes off with the Q-tip and lacquer thinner. If you do it now, you don't have to worry about <clears throat> a white ring around your eye later. So it's a good idea to go ahead and take care of it one time. You don't want your lacquer thinner to drip. So what I like to do is roll it one time. On a paper towel or something. Can I see like a light fleshy color and I may go ahead and go over white pearl again over the flesh. I tend to see it just ever so lightly. So about a light coat. I guess you want it to show And I'm going to go over even the side of the gills, the lower jaw. I'm just going to get just a light misting of it. I don't know if you can see it going on, but it's just ever so lightly. This is the flesh, and I'm going to readjust the fish. And I see it on the lower jaw even. You know, it's nothing we can't recorrect if we if we change our mind a little bit later. Even right here, around looks like around the pectoral. You know where where it migrates into like a dark color. I tend to see it a little bit. So about like that, I think it's about right. It's not wrong if you get some of the flesh on the fins either, because what I see could be interpreted, the the color that I see could be interpreted as a, almost as a flesh color. Although chances are it's gonna be red, but I still want the shimmering, goldish yellow color that you see on a fish sometimes, you know, in the sunlight. But I don't have any of the, I guess it's gold pearl or, or iridescent gold or something like that that you can put on after you put your yellow. But since I don't have that and I applied my flesh, 
I still want the shimmering to shine through and I want to tone down some of the flesh maybe slightly anyway. So I'm going back to my white pearl. And the reason is, is when you put the white pearl on there, it has a good shimmer. And then when you put yellow straight onto that pearl, you still have the, sh the shimmering yellow color. And it makes up for the fact that I don't have gold pearl. That flesh color we put on, we want to tone it down. We don't want to kill it out completely. The pearly color is coming back. And we're going to readjust the fish and do the belly. So I didn't get straight on the belly. But here again with my white pearl. I just want that pearl to kind of come back in. So I'm putting it everywhere I put that flesh around the, around the lower jaw, the pectoral. Make sure it's good and pearly. It gives the yellow something to reflect off and still be shimmering. So I've got bright yellow. Adjust your spray real good. and a, I would say about a, a medium coat. Over the top of the head. A fade out before you get to the lower jaw. Fade out, we'll cover the whole fish except the, the belly area. With about a, you don't want to kill the flesh completely out but and readjust your fish for the back. But since I got it this way, I'm gonna go ahead and do the side of the fish. And this area right here, you can leave it a little bit wide also. We may even whiten it up again later. And you can go ahead and get the fins too if you want to. With about a medium coat and uh, don't go on the belly, we may even whiten the belly up anyway. Getting the top of the fish. You don't want to go too heavy. You don't want to kill that flesh out completely. But we want to make sure when we put that dark brown on that we can overpower the yellow a little bit, if you know what I mean. So that it's not so. Uh... Now, all this down here, the lower jaw, all that, it gets yellow. A little bit of a yellow casting anyway. But the belly itself looks like it tends to stay pretty much white. And I'm leaving the belly just like it is and I may even whiten the belly back up. Card your fins if you've got to. Pretty much the whole fish except the belly all the way even the the belly it tapers down to a narrow streak on the very bottom of the fish this part right here stays pretty much white all the way to the back pretty much like you would any other fish like a bass or something but everything else gets a coating of yellow now i just want to make sure that i've got a good coating of yellow everywhere it's supposed to be uh, you got to be a little bit uniform with this color. And we know that's a designated belly area. So we definitely want it to be faded out. Uh, looks like the pectoral fin from the top of the pectoral fin to what looks like it's the pelvic fins. So about right in there. 
where you want it to die. Of course, I got my flesh on there. I don't want to completely knock it out. Now, in, in some of my pictures, uh, this right here isn't necessarily white. A lot of what I've, a lot of what I've seen people paint, they they'll make that part white. But it looks like it's actually uh, part of the yellow, or at least at least to some degree. It's pretty much the bell belly that you that you want white for the most part just below it or maybe even around it a little bit like around in this area and it goes down kind of like right in there but now I think we're going to go ahead and whiten the belly a little bit more with white okay let your reference be your guide and I'm going to kind of whiten up the belly here so I'm basically I figured I'd do it now before I put on my last dark color. Pretty much like I do with any color. Kind of like trying to come up with a happy medium, I guess. I know there is some traces of yellow here. I don't want to kill it all out, but let's see what we got here. I'm, I'm just going to lighten the yellow up a little. That's all I'm doing. I'm not even killing out all the pearl that's there. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, pretty much the gills right there, they stay kind of white. All this stays kind of white. So I'm just gonna phase it in. I mean, there is some color there, but it's, a lot of it's a dark color, but I like the little bit of fleshy look. Maybe tone this yellow down here. You can even tone the, if you feel like your fish is too, too loud, you can even tone your whole fish down because our defining color is uh, dark brown. So, But when you're happy the way you got the belly, the way you want it, then, and we may even go back to yellow. That's possible, but the belly is the main part. And then it kind of tapers down. Pretty much all the way to the back. And it does, some people paint that completely white, but I do see uh, grades of yellow on it, so I'm not gonna kill it out completely. Okay, you can clean that off again. You know, I've got base coat sealer. I'm just putting it on just to kind of try to get a better idea of what I've got going on. Yeah, I can still see that flesh color coming through. I like that. Okay, now I've got my dark brown. It almost looks like satellite markings that they have. But use a good reference picture and go with it. It's a dark brown. Uh, they're, they're indistinct. But there is like a barring pattern that's a little bit noticeable. And it's real easy to put them in too dark, so be careful. And if you want more uh, detailed markings, just go in a little bit closer. Okay, it looks like some of it is actually takes up a little bit of some space too. Like they connect a little bit. Yeah, you definitely got to go a lot with this. Hmm. 
Some of them go sideways. Well, I'm going to be working on this and I'll show you what I have. I think that's about the right intensity right there. Now everything above the back, the back gets dark. I mean, it is super dark. All my reference pictures, everything. It looks like maybe a few right in here as well. This little, looks like blotches and blemishes maybe. Not so much where it gets white, but right up here Kind of like it in this area. And there is no uniformity to it. Although it's sometimes a little bit like satellite markings, uh, saddle markings a little bit. I mean, you can roughly, I guess, make it look like satellite markings. And it would not be wrong. See nothing around the eye. Looks like maybe a little bit above the. Let's see where the upper lip, like right in here. Pretty much the upper lip layer area. Uh, it seems to get most of it. But not much color below. I'll show you. It's there's, you know it's a uniformity that a lot of the fish. Uh, exhibit it's you know where they have most of their color like above the eye maybe the upper lip a little but as far as the lower jaw not much and it may go around the eye a little bit but definitely the top of the back super dark especially on these fish yeah if you're in a position to go ahead and darken these things up go ahead and darken them I mean they need it so And they all get dark. I mean, you may have to, you know, card. You may have to watch out for overspray. Of course, these kind of fade out when they get close to the body. These bottom ones, these whiskers. But you got to watch your overspray. Basically, you just have to card and turn and manipulate and you'll get it. Now if you can get it at an angle where you don't have to car, that's even better. You want them pretty dark. Now this is all with the dark brown. But I'm going to readjust the fish, maybe hit the back a few times before I highlight the fins, just to give me a better idea of what I've got. They are pretty dark on the back. Since I'm in a position to highlight the fins and dark in the back, I'm going to take the advantage of it. And it's just this part right here is like really dark, right here. The 
area around the eye is real dark. And pretty much all this up here is like super dark. You can see it growing on the fish. A little bit of angle spray helps. So that's bringing kind of gives you an idea of the gills, the gill area that needs to be a little bit, I guess you could say, uh, so it's even bringing out the, there's a ladder line on there that's popping up. Oh, let's see. There's some stuff that's actually coming up. They get pretty dark, but I don't want them as dark as maybe a lot of people do. Because I want a little bit of red on my pins, because I see it. All my reference pictures show a little bit of that red color. So I'm going to try to incorporate that in. Now, this is just dark brown. Even this oak. Uh, well, you know, like trout got it, that little opercle or whatever. I'm gonna paint that sucker uh, brown. I'm gonna go ahead and angle spray these fins. I'm darkening everything on the back considerably. And my reference picture has that stuff like pretty dark, so. Upper lip, even on the end, just like super dark. Pretty card if you've got to. You know, to kind of control your spray. You know, every chance I get, I'm hitting those whiskers at every angle. As long as over spray is not in the position. No worry, we to get on the rest of the fish. won't look right with things that aren't dark. You can get it from here, you know, if you don't want white in so it's a reproduction, get it slightly from the rear. Once it goes around the eye, not much, not much shows. All this is supposedly pretty dark. Now the angle sprayed enough. I may even bring up some of these bars a little bit more. I can do that. Now's a good time as any.
And it can be some spots. It doesn't have to be all just blotchy, you know. And you want to be faded out by the ladder line. Got my dark brown. I'm going to highlight the pins. Went ahead and darkened the saddle markings a little bit more. I'm going to darken this up a little bit. Uh, this whisker here while I got it where I need it. Uh, this one as well. Darkening them, I guess is a better word to call it. Highlighting, darkening, same thing. Pretty dark. Got to watch, watch how high it goes up. But I got to watch out. But there again. I can always wipe my belly back up. I'm going to get this other one. And then, of course, this one. I just go up so far with it. Actually, that's correct. Just only go up so far with it.
right on the very corner. Hmm. That's a good time to darken the, the very ends of the pan. They're a little bit thick because they're fiberglass. It's a good time as any to go ahead and darken it. I'm going to go ahead and get around the eye just a little bit more. Get these whiskers while I can. Pretty much the job got them done. You just hit them from every angle and before you know it, you got them done. But all this around in here, it seems like it's just super dark. But as with all fish, you know, there's like a, a cheek here and then a gill flap, you can see it. And so I want to kind of stay above the gill flap and go up into the back and then taper off into the back. That's the right way. You'll see the pearl underneath. I'm going to touch up the lower jaw a little bit. I'm going to go just right here on the end. I'll probably go ahead and use this in the mouth. So like right here, you can see there's a little bit of thin detail. right here on the end, I'm just going to oh, walk up with a bass or something. Just put a little bit of color there. And don't go too far back on the jawline. Or if it's not going to show, you know, go ahead and darken them in. They may not even have rays. Some of the reproductions don't, so just do the best you can. Now off again. If we did it right, we shouldn't have any kind of kind of ring or anything, you know. Around the eye. Now I've got gill red. I'm going to put a white misting. You know, just to kind of off the color a little bit. Just to give a little bit of a fleshy look. I see it in a lot of those catfish, those old burnt brown catfish, you see it. So I'm definitely just going to put it in. And I'm going to put it in light enough that you just kind of see a glimpse of it, you know. Feel free to card your fins too. You know, to control your overspray. I'm 
If you put it on wide enough, it, it just gives it a, it mixes with the yellow and makes a real neat color. Red on the fins looks really good and you can even use it slightly below the jaw. It's not wrong to lightly miss gill red over there and it kind of changes the value of your dark brown. It makes it not so greenish. But what I've got right here, I've got bright orange. A gold toner would be perfect. But I don't have any. So I've got bright orange. And if you put it on thin enough, it's transparent. And I'm just going to go over my yellow and my brown. Around the eyes. If you put it on thin enough, it acts like gold toner. Use a little bit more dark brown just on these bottom pins a little bit, and then I'll show you what we do next. Got my base coat sealer again. Just gonna kind of go over everything to see what it looks like. Sometimes it seems like it lays the colors down a little bit better so you know exactly what you got. <laughs> that dark brown turned a little bit into like a rich brown, rich brown color because <clears throat> I didn't have any gold toner, but I used bright orange, thinned down, and using it very sparingly, basically making it just like gold toner. And if it's still not dark enough on the back, it's a little bit like rich brown now from the orange, I guess, and the gill red. I put a little bit of gill red over over it too, but if it's if it's not dark enough, like it, you know, it's more of a rich brown color. Feel free to go back over it with black, just along the back. Maybe even darken your fins. It's totally up to you. But I, I got news for you. Sometimes these fish, I, I don't know what it is, but sometimes they tend to seem like they get a little bit darker. Is you know, like over a few days or something, just slightly. So you might want to uh, think about that before you decide to put a little bit more, you know, like straight black on the back and darken everything with black. Although you can do it, it's totally up to you. Now we're gonna gloss the fish. Um, gloss top coat, a lot of people use that. I use it a lot too. But right here I've got just Minwax uh, gloss top coat. And you can really gloss your fish super quick. With this stuff. We'll get fin I'm going to finish glossing and show you what I got. The Min Wax Polyurethane Gloss really did a good job on it. I think it looks pretty good. This is how I paint a bullhead catfish. In this case, a brown bullhead.